are watchers from Pixels and Pages, you will know that this is already a feature I was doing on Pixels and Pages, where I review a sample of issue ones that have come out this week. And why do I do that? because I love comics. I love collecting comics. But comics are expensive and a lot of issue ones come out and you're already reading probably a couple of sets anyway. So not many people can afford to go out and buy every issue one that comes out. So I buy as many as I can get hold of, read them and review them for you. And then you can pick up the ones that seem like they are good for you. I also really apologize <laughs> for how I look today. I am filming this during the heat wave and I am dying and I've had to turn my fan off because of noise pollution and close all the windows because of noise pollution and I've only just started filming and I'm dying. <laughs> so I apologize that I am just gonna get sweatier and sweatier throughout this filming. I, I'm so sorry. But this is how dedicated I am to you that I will half kill myself in the heat to film this. So let's get started. Barb Wire by Dark Horse Comics. She's a badass blondie. Barb Wire is a bounty hunter on the mean streets of Steel Harbor. Following her life as she manages a pub and collects villains like they're as easy as collecting stamps, the first issue pretty much as introduces her character and pretty much where the story's going to go. Bros! The comic is action packed. It's dynamic, it's colourful, and it's fun. It's got a well-written pace to the story and it makes you constantly just want to keep turning the page. It's TV show worthy with the diet, the characters they introduce, the flow they introduce it with, with a very realistic sense of the story, but with slightly unrealistic characters. It, it's brilliant, it's so good. Cons. She's super sexy, she's super cool, and she's super hard, which is awesome, but she's perfect. I feel like that's quite a dated thing to have this badass woman who's perfect. Women and men alike know that people aren't perfect. We like reading stories that have flaws in the character. Girls can be super hot, super hard, and super smart, but still have roots, you know? The Spire by Boom Studios is an issue one of a mini series consisting of eight issues. The Spire is a mountain of metal and stone based in the heart of a desert, containing a vast city that houses millions of humans and non-humans alike. Shay, Shay, Cha, Shay, I think it's Shay. We're gonna call her Shay. The last of her kind is responsible for keeping watch over the city as she is the commander of the city watch. When a string of grisly murders take place or start, she is commanded by the new Baroness to find out who the murderers are. Although unfortunately for Shay, the new Baroness hates anything that is non-human, so she might be in for a rough ride. Pros. I love the art. I adored the art. It's so detailed. The cover art. Oh my gosh. Let's just look at the cover art. If there was cover art porn, if that was such a thing, this would be my fetish. That <laughs> would be my thing. The writing flows so well. Like, perfectly. It does struggle a little bit at the beginning, introducing all the characters and the concept and the world, but it all ties in very quickly and you're up to speed very quickly. Sometimes new stories are a little bit of a struggle to get into the depths of that world, but it only happens for a couple of pages and once you're in it, you, you're loving it. Cons. I do feel like the first issue may possibly be promising too much. There's a lot that it hints to or flashbacks to or cuts to and has yet to explain it. Now, I know there's such a thing as a cliffhanger and leave you wanting more, but I do feel like it does it too often in one issue. I feel like it's leaving too much unanswered. I still want to carry on reading it. It hasn't put me off, but I would have liked a little bit more answered in the first issue. I'm so happy this week because my pick of the week is actually an image comic and I can't remember the last time that happened and considering I'm usually very very biased to image comics it's been too long and this week is a pick of the week and it's image comics and it's We Stand Guard a hundred years from now, an heroic band of civilian Canadians must defend their homeland from an invasion by the United States of America, a small group of freedom fighters versus a lot of big ass robots. It's enough you really need to say, isn't it? Pros. Well, first off, it's written by Brian K. Vaughan, who wrote Saga and Why the Last Man, which are two of my favourite stories, definitely in my top five, and if you haven't read them, you need to. They're brilliant. So I was obviously very excited to see that this was coming out. I already had high hopes for it, and they completely met up to the standard that I was hoping for. The art done by Steve Scrooge, it he's done such an amazing job on this. The art is perfect. 
it's unbelievably, stupendously stunning. It's so detailed, yet yeah, so simple. I, I loved it. I, it's usually an art. I wouldn't say if I had to describe my favourite style of art, I wouldn't say it was this. But he's won me over and I just, I've never not liked it, but it's, it just goes so well with this story. The cover price is $2.99 and it's 40 pages long of awesome. I'm quite a slow reader, but I flew through this. I think I read it in like 10 minutes. I adored this story. Hans, I can't think of any. This is genuinely why it's my pick of the week. I try so hard every time I review a comic to give a fair opinion of it, a balanced opinion, and I have to think of a con because there are that isn't fair. And I can't think of one. There are no cons. So yes. If I could only subscribe to one comic this week, this would be it. Well, thank you for watching this week. I'm sorry that you've had to sit here and watch this melting mess. I'm gonna go sit in a nice bath now. <laughs> but what did you think of the comics? Have you read these already? What did you think of them? Are you sold by any of them? Do any of them seem your type? I love talking about comics, so please reply, tell me what you think of them. If you haven't done already and you've enjoyed the videos, please feel free to subscribe. It makes my day. Thanks for watching. Bye! I'm so hot. I'm going to die!